Hello, boys and girls. This is Aunt Fernita, and I have a wonderful story for you called Abram's Altars. Today's memory verse is from Psalms 100, verse 2. It says, Worship the Lord with gladness. Worship the Lord with gladness. Worship the Lord with gladness. Psalms 100, verse 2. Worship the Lord with gladness. Worship the Lord with gladness. Psalms 100, verse 2. The message for today's story is Christian families worship God together. Where does your family worship God? Do you have a special place for family worship? Where do you worship on Sabbath? Abram didn't have a church to go to. He did not even have a room and a house. But he worshiped God everywhere he went, and he led others to worship God too. Abram, his wife Sarai, and his nephew Lot traveled for many days. Sometimes they walked. Other times Sarai rode on top of a big camel. The servants ran back and forth trying to keep the herds of sheep and goats from wandering away. On their journey, people would come out to watch the large, strange caravan as it passed by. Who are you? They asked Abram. Where are you going? I am Abram, Abram would answer. I worship the only true God who lives in heaven. He told me to leave my home in the city of Ur and travel to a new country. I am obeying his words. The people listening had never heard of Abram's God. Sometimes they would say, Tell us more about your God. Some of the people who listened even decided to worship Abram's God, and then they joined Abram's big caravan. Finally, after a long journey, Abram and all the people with him crossed into the land of Cana. They camped beside a great oak tree at a place called Shechem. That day, the Lord appeared to Abraham. He pointed in every direction. Abram, God said, I am going to give you this land to your children and to your children's children and their children. Abram saw that the people who lived in Cana worshipped idols. They even worshipped their idols by the very tree where God had appeared to Abram. But Abram didn't worship their idols. Instead, he built an altar to the true God by that same tree. And he and his family worshipped God there. Worship our God, worship our God. Come, let us worship our God. We will worship our God. You should.
They thanked God for leading them throughout their long journey. They thanked Him for keeping everyone safe. And they thanked God for keeping their flocks and herds safe too. When Abram left that place and the Canaanites came back to worship their idols, they saw the altar Abram had built to the one true God. They knew that the living God had been worshipped there. Abram, Sarai, Lot, and their servants, and all the people who joined them travel further and further into the land of Cana. God led them all the way. He was showing Abram all the land that would belong to his children, and every time Abram stopped to camp, he would build an altar and lead his people in worshiping the true God. Like Abram, God's people today build special places to worship him. Our church is one of them. We go there every week to worship God. Thank you, God, for the beautiful world, for the sun and the blue, blue sky, for the birds and the fish and the flowers and the trees and the cute little butterfly. Thank you, God, for the beautiful world, for the sun and the blue, blue sky, for the birds and the fish and the flowers and the trees and the cute little butterfly.